Hey guys, and welcome back to Track Yards. He is Commander Kaken. And he's Captain Foley. I'm gonna stop the show, Stuart. I'm gonna stop the show. And um, just this is one of my favorite parts of episode 10, what we're gonna talk about today. That might seem ridiculous, Stuart, but this made me ridiculously happy. And I emailed Dave Blast to say thank you right after the episode came out, and he thanked me for saying thank you. So just saying, guys, I'm very happy about this episode and what we're gonna talk about. Because in my opinion, they done done Don Good. What are we talking about today, Stuart? There's a new com badge in Picard, the season finale, and it is the Trek Yards com badge right there. See that? That's the Trek Yards oh, Picard it's, com it's, badge. It's, it's this, Stuart, which then got fixed! Yes, thank God. Yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed, but at the end of the episode, the color changed on the com oh, badge, my and my God, it's such an improvement. I'm surprised Terry didn't do it earlier in, this, in the season, honestly, but... Well, it, it's like what we said about Discovery Season 3. There was a uniform swap, there was something, and the fact they were in the uniforms at the end, that final scene, made it a moment. So seeing these at the last scene elevated the episode. So let's so let's jump in. So yeah, of course, we'll pick some shots here. Um, how many of you in the audience noticed this? Because they don't highlight it ever. It's never a plot point, it's never there. Did you notice it? At what point did you notice it? And what did you... I noticed it right away. Um, as soon as I saw gold, I'm like... Did I just see gold, the gold com badge? I think I saw it on Raffi first, actually. Um, and then, yeah, the, the scene on the bridge, it's quite obvious on the black uniform. But, uh, yeah, I, I, they saw it on Raffi first, and I was like, that's cool. I wonder if it's just Raffi that has that, because she's like, doesn't look like she's a Starfleet at that point. But then we go to the next scene, and, yeah, they're they're loud and proud and bold, and I love it. So, yes, I did notice it. Yeah, I first noticed it with Beverly, because, I mean, it's color, right? But then it cuts to... So that's the one year later. Beverly has got a new badge, who's in the transporter room of the, of the Enterprise G, I guess. But then he cuts to Riker and, and um, Picard on the Galaxy class Enterprise D, and they're all wearing the old badges. I'm like, oh, I, I was seeing something. But then it cuts back to Enterprise G, and everybody is wearing. Um, here's a shot, though, and you can see. And, and even at this original darkness level, the combat reads... That 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 sticks out. That is visible. That exists. Even on Beverly, who is in almost pitch blackness, you still see it. If it was the other com badge, it would be invisible. So clearly an improvement already. And I gotta say, Sydney's and Jack's look quite look different. Hers looks like a more shiny silver. His looks more like a, a which matte is, kind which of. Which what we did for mine. I had this one painted in their correct colors, and then this one painted the, the TNG colors. Because in my opinion, it would just be this but in this shape and so you do that and also you don't you don't want shiny badges like it doesn't work well with filming because then it reflects because they're they were always resin painted resin so meant to be not colored but like i say they read infinitely more if you brighten the if you brighten the color at uh, the brightness level to a more normal show again they read even better right but let's compare to how where we came from this is three different uniforms in three different sets, in three different shots, without any color change. You tell me that looks anywhere near okay, let alone good. And I've not done anything to these. This is what the show gave us for these yeah. yeah, I always I always thought they looked too muddy and they blended in too much. Um, especially on on Wharf there, just because it's darker and the way it's angled. But um, it, it never looked good. I would like to see these, like, the new, the new ones photoshopped onto these pictures actually because that would look amazing uh just to see the difference but yeah they get too lost in the cut in the color of the uniform and also the way they choose to light this show it is dark as you said and so it's hard to make these details out so yeah they're almost invisible it depends on the glean of the delta but i mean on wharf and like I say, i'm not even cherry picking three uniforms three characters three designs none of them work and they look bad the combat is such an iconic part get back to tier west was a patch and let's you know let's improve the brightness. Yes, making it significantly brighter does actually, which is shocking that all it took was up in the brightness where the grey of this contrasts with the black of the uniform. But standard brightness, you can't see that it blends in too much. Now, okay, Worf is still gone, but at least you can see. Okay, That's his, his uniform is the same color as the grey on the com badge. It's a bad idea. But sevens that could work if it was a brighter show, but it doesn't. None of them look good. This is the legacy of com badges, right? All of them you can read. And let's be honest, 
that is not a dark there's not a light shot for both Janeway and, and Cisco. Both those are dark scenes in Trek language, and guess what? It reads perfectly because the the outline helps the inner thing. The inner thing reflects. Bush, you've got like that's the legacy of com badges. And look, even Beverly, who's in lots of black, the badge entirely picks, right? On all the different colours. It's a no-brainer to have gold in the com badge. So let's now put the live action com badges together. And because there is no live action prodigy, I put myself in because I've got a live action prodigy. So this is how because this is you know, part of the canon lineage, which is now funny because really this should go into this, but now this goes into this, just with this in the middle for no reason. Oh yeah, and also this is between this and this now. <laughs> but I mean, ha solved, right? It, just, it looks so good on Jack. It, it looks really so does. good. It just should have been that th that season. That's what I thought when I noticed it. I'm like, that looks really good. And I'm trying to enjoy the last scene where he's like being whatever. And uh, all I'm thinking is they should have done this earlier because that looks really good. Because it's a genuinely good design for Delta, like a good design for a, a badge. It's different, but yet you understand exactly where it's come from, but it's not the same. It's cool. So I'm very happy. And now I was at, I, 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 you know, I commissioned like two of these and two of these. I thought this... I don't want to use it because it's not canon, but by God, I'd rather use this. Can I make it ever make sense? I'm glad I got them commissioned. <laughs> now it's canon. Now I can ignore this era entirely, which in fairness, you know, this was the flashback uniform. So this thing wasn't necessarily super long. You could easily retcon it to be any amount of time between, right? And then this came back in. So yeah, now I'm tempted to do more stuff in this era because this looks really good. Well, when is this going to be canon? Track yards. Yeah. Yes. Pops. I don't know, Stuart. I don't know. Maybe someday we can talk to one of our many showrunner friends, see what they think. Um, but yeah, really happy. And this gave me such a joyful feeling at the end. I feel like we're finally moving forward. And even if there's no more Picard era ever, that feels like a good movement forward. I don't because most of these shows they even if you should go back to the ones that came before before. Um, Prodigy said, well, what happened in uh, Discovery? We've got to reference that. So the, these odd things kept happening, like the bridge windows, etc. So this being the badge, any new designer would say, oh, this is the last badge. We've got to make it grey and silver again. Because that would be logical to them, not understanding that this is the entire legacy of the badge for like 100 years. So the fact we've now got the gold and silver means that we can now progress correctly into the future and the next team will continue that and just make that a blip. So that, people don't understand how important this is. Really, because once you start making mistakes and just follow through, slippery slopes. I'm very, very, very happy. Um, and thanks, Terry and team. Because it was just, I mean, you can just repaint them, right? It's not a huge difficulty. But, uh, yeah, it was a small little subtle thing. And then just in the last like couple minutes of the show, but it is so worth it. And it's so helped out, in my opinion. So, yeah, absolutely. Terry and team, thank you. <laughs> Let us know what you guys thought about this if you even noticed it. And now, if you hadn't noticed it and you know now, what do you think of it? leave your thoughts down below we want to hear from you guys we also want you to join us for live so please subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell icon so you don't miss any lives that we do and by all means come and join us for those and hang out with us talk about these kind of things what we do and we do this talk content for you all the time all week and in these new shows i mean look at picard look at what we've done for picard's year and you guys have been incredible support us allowing us to kind of go all out and make this content but in the in-between weeks we do rely on your support to keep the channel going and wanting to do more. We have many shows we could do if we had the time and, and resources. So, support us monthly if you want to see Trek Yards continue and grow. TrekYardsAreHotmail.com is the PayPal, of course. Patreon and join the channel as the monthlies or Super Chatting or Super Thanksings. If you don't know what they are, Super Chester is on the lives. There's a button. You press it. You say hi. Super Thanks is any video if you enjoy. If you enjoy these com badges, you can Super Thanks and say hey. I see you. Be, be an avatar. I see you, you know. Go blue for us. Oh, I'm wearing blue. There you go. There you go. Go blue. For Team Trek Yards. That went off rails. Like in Avatar 2 when Pandora got attacked. And Why is that on my brain? Anyway. Consider joining the channel as well. There you go. I have a fleet video at yes. the end. You need to watch because your name might be in there if you're a member already. But if you're not and you want your name in there, consider joining. So, until next time, he is Commander Cockings. He's Captain Foley. See you guys later. Bye, guys.